Hello everyone, it is Monday, August 3rd. It is our 69th day of making art together. This week, this first full week of August, we are going to be experimenting with art processes um, and thinking outside the box in terms of what is art and how do we make art together? How do we make art in community? And what can I do with pieces, uh, something that might be in my kitchen? What can I do with experimenting with art? And if you don't have those things in a kitchen or you don't have a kitchen, then you can um, think about what would, what would you like to do when we can come back together and you can work in the studio? Is there something you'd like to try? Okay, so today I have this dish of water here. I have some inks. I've got a blue ink and I've got a black ink and we're gonna be doing some Jap Japanese water marbling. Now there is a formal name for that, but I'm just going to call it Japanese uh, water paper marbling. I've got some um, watercolor paper here and I am going to drop my ink into the pan and then I'm going to print that and I'm going to hold the camera today so that you can see the effects that I'm making. So it's really experimental. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. I've done this in the past and it turned out wonderfully, but you never know, especially when eyes are on the camera here, what might happen. So, um, I'm going to add some blue so that we can see it better as um, the time goes on and the process happens. I'm also going to use a little dowel to um, make some waves in the uh, ink. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to move the camera and bring it on over here. And we're going to get started on this water mar marbling. So what I like about the water, the ink on in the pan here, is that it really has a life of its own. Now, it sits on, it can sit on the surface. If I apply it very gently, it can sit on the surface. A lot of times in water marbling, you want to use a brush. I don't have a brush today. So I am just going to push the ink around. Ooh, and I don't know if you could just see what happened there, but the, black, the blue and the black don't seem to like each other. So I put down a squirt of blue and all the black, and now the black is being drawn to it. But let me try that again. Okay, so I'm going to put some black over here in the center. I'm gonna get my arm so where you can see it. Okay, so I'm putting down some Okay, I don't also have the best ink for this. This is more of a uh, art ink, a writing ink. Here comes the blue. Now pay attention to what happens with the blue to the black. I don't know if you could see that or not, but the black, black just kind of runs away. So if I had some traditional marbling inks, the ink would stay more on the surface and um, what I'm finding here is my ink is my ink is making its way to the bottom of the surface of this pan, but I can still keep that ink on the top as well. Okay, so now I'm going to add a piece of paper. My water's getting very, very muddy, but I want to add some of the blue ink. Okay. 
Okay, so if I tried this again, what I would want to do is I would want to have um, a few different inks. I'd want to get the marbling ink, and I'd want to um, not put those big globs of ink in the pan right away because it works for me but not necessarily for you as you're trying to watch what I'm doing on camera but I'm all about as an artist about experimenting and learning from trials and errors and seeing what can happen when we just get really creative and play so right now I'm just I'm adding the ink right to the surface of the watercolor paper now can I take that out of there and get my image to stay no I can't however I know from experience that when I come back to this even if I take it out and let it dry it's going to have a lot of color in it so what I might do is I might even take the paper out and add some more color to the wet watercolor paper. Or I may, may even just let this sit in here for a little while because I really like those dramatic effects right now of, of what's happening on the paper. And I know the second I pick it up, I'm going to lose that. Okay, so if you have a chance, give it a try. Try some... Um, try a pan full of water and some food coloring if you have it. Try some watering down some acrylic paint if you have it. See what happens if you play around with the effects of water and ink or food coloring. See what happens. Okay, thank you very much. I will see you back here tomorrow. Have a great day of art making.